This mini pumpkin with a moving eye is the perfect DIY Halloween decoration for makers. Inside, it's pretty straightforward. The eyeball is a painted ping pong ball connected to a 9 gram servo motor and an Arduino Pro Micro. Let's go step by step so you can build one too. I started by cutting a ping pong ball in half with a hobby knife. Then I marked and cut off the north and south poles of the ball. This saves some space and will allow it to rotate around the motor. The servo will mount directly in the middle of the ping pong ball. The shaft center should be in line with the hemisphere cut. To glue it, I roughed up the inside surface and then used thick CA glue. Once everything's lined up, a quick spray with accelerator locks everything in place within about 15 seconds. I painted the eye starting with light blue for the iris and added some darker blue around the outside for contrast. I followed this up with some white and yellow in the center before adding the black pupil. I gave the rest a quick coat in white and cleaned up the edges of the iris, and then blended in some pink on the left and right sides, which will be visible when the eye is looking to the side. Finally, I added a few thin pink squiggles. While the paint dries, it's onto pumpkin carving. I started by cutting out most of the bottom and scooping out the guts. We'll replace the bottom with a piece of cardboard, so you can discard this. The hole for the eye needs to be bigger than the iris, but not so big that the whole eyeball can fit through. Start small and you can always enlarge it later. The pumpkin walls were really thick relative to the small hole, so I had to thin them out to fit the eyeball. Depending on the size of the pumpkin, you'll probably also need to clear some space at the top of the inside. To get the eyeball to sit all the way forward, I cut a bevel on the inner edge of the hole. That's the part highlighted in red on the super realistic 3D model. Here you can see the difference beveling the edges makes. The eyeball sits a lot further forward after beveling. Now that the pumpkin is ready, it's on to electronics. I connected the servo motor to an Arduino Pro Micro since it's small and will fit inside the pumpkin. Other Arduino boards would work fine too, but may not fit inside. The servo's red wire connects to raw for 5 volt power, and its brown or black wire connects to ground. The servo's signal wire, which will be yellow or white, connects to pin 6. To hold everything together and keep the wires neat, I flipped the Arduino over, slid the motor between the two rows of pins, and then wrapped the whole thing in painter's tape. The Arduino program is really simple. It just moves the servo to 10 fixed positions with some pre-programmed delays between each movement. I'll leave a link to the example code in the description below. Before uploading the program for the first time, I carefully removed the servo horn and ping pong ball, and I let it run a full animation sequence, which always starts and ends with the motor centered, and then I unplugged the Arduino and reinstalled the eyeball now that the motor was perfectly centered. I cut a small spacer from cardboard and hot glued it to a bigger square that will be our base. Then I hot glued the Arduino and motor onto the cardboard. The hot glue only touches the painter's tape, so it's easy to remove and clean up later, but strong enough for a temporary hold. To finish assembling the pumpkin, I trimmed the cardboard and hot glued it on. What's great about the Arduino is that you can just plug it into a USB battery pack or a USB wall charger to power it. And there you go, now you've got a unique animated mini pumpkin for your Halloween decorations. Thanks for watching.